of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Greetings, honored graduates of the class of 2020, families and friends. I hope this message finds you safe and healthy. Without a doubt, you are the most unique graduating class in the history of the Los Angeles Community College District. The COVID-19 public health emergency has changed our lives, changed our world, and you have worked through more challenges than any previous graduating class. So take pride in what you have accomplished and celebrate our theme for today, resilient times for brilliant minds. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, our nine college presidents, and our faculty and professional staff, I want to say thank you. Thank you for sticking with LACCD during these difficult times. Thank you for staying true to yourself and achieving great things. Thank you for being determined to make a difference in your life. And remember, the circumstances that we find ourselves in today are temporary. This is not your destiny. You've made it this far and you have shown your tenacity and commitment, but your work is far from over. Let me challenge you. Let this be your first college degree, not your last. In my 35 years in higher education, I've learned that the students who succeed are the ones who are not afraid to fail, who stick with it, who are resilient, who persist. A fierce mindset more than anything else determines who succeeds. And I have the utmost faith and confidence that you will succeed. Today, there are two quotes that I love and I want to share with you. The first is from the former president of Liberia, Ellen Sirleaf Johnson, who said, the size of your dreams should always exceed your grasp. If your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. The second quote is from Mark Twain. The two most important days in your life are the day that you were born and the day that you figured out why. And I believe today is another positive step towards figuring out why. Today, I also want to send a special word of thanks to your parents, your families, and your partners. Whether it's help with cooking, cleaning, childcare, or even letting you use the Wi-Fi to complete your classes, they have been an important part of your life. They too are graduating today. I also want to acknowledge our faculty and professional staff who've gone above and beyond to keep your education moving forward 
during these unprecedented times. And of course, thanks to our Board of Trustees and our college administrators who have been great partners every single step of the way. As I close, I urge you to always be an inspiration to others and to give back to your community. Whether you know it or not, you are already a role model. You are an inspiration to me and to many others. I believe too that there's a universal law in life, and that is that the more you help others succeed, the more success will find you. Finally, I often use the term LAC City Proud when describing our students, and I couldn't be more proud of you today for what you have accomplished and how you have done it. This class of students, yes, this class of 2020 is simply amazing. You truly are the best of us. With my sincere admiration and respect, congratulations. Muchas felicidades a los alumnos de la clase de 2020. Siempre adelante. Hello, graduates. I'm Andrew Hoffman, president of the Board of Trustees for the Los Angeles Community College District. On behalf of the entire board, congratulations on this very special day. You have all worked so hard to get here. Each one of you committed yourselves to a goal, and many of you have spent probably more years than you originally thought working towards that goal. Reflect for a moment on what you have accomplished and be proud of yourselves that you've made it this far. You are amongst a select group of students that persevered and earned a degree or certificate, something that nobody can ever take away from you. Also reflect for a moment on making history because you earned that degree or certificate during a global pandemic. You are part of the class of 2020, a class that will be known for adaptability, flexibility, and strength. People enroll at a community college for different reasons. Some students come like all of you to earn a degree or certificate. Some are here to learn a skill. Some come to us to learn English. Others just need a few classes or short-term training and others come to transfer like many of you are doing here today as well. But all of you are here participating in LACCD's first ever virtual graduation. And that is a big deal. What is commencement? And why is it so important and meaningful to decide to have a virtual ceremony today? If you looked up the actual definition of the word, commencement is defined as the beginning of something. It is also a celebration where degrees and diplomas are conferred. We celebrate as you start the next stage of your life, as you now venture forward as a proud graduate. Reflect for a moment on what you have accomplished. Besides the pandemic and the crisis known as COVID-19, which has produced its own set of challenges, I know that many of you have had to face what seemed like insurmountable barriers, and yet you are with us here today. Here you are, the graduating class of 2020. What does that look like? I know that one in five Los Angeles Community College students don't have a permanent place to call home. I know that some of you have had to sleep in your cars. I know that some of you rely on our food pantries, and I know that many of you work two jobs to be able to stay in school. I know that some of you are raising young children or taking care of aging parents. I know that some of you are system impacted individuals, and I know you have all made great sacrifices to get your education. The road you took to get here may not have been an easy one. Our youngest graduate in this district is 16, and our oldest graduate is 80. It took me 22 years to get my degree. So if you're over the age of 50, give yourself a pat on the back. If you are the first in your family to go to college, tell yourself, great job. If you're a veteran or a member of the military, I salute you. If you've had to work full-time or part-time, like so many of us have had to, you're not alone and give yourself an, oh yeah. If you're a parent, kiss your babies, even if they're grown and know that they're very proud of you. If you're a DACA student or you're undocumented, I know the road to get here may have had a few more twists and turns. If you're formerly incarcerated, you made it. And for everyone watching today, give a big shout out for our students and say great job for the sacrifice they made was a great one. We congratulate you on your perseverance, commitment and dedication. All of us here today, your family, your friends, faculty, staff, and administrators are so proud of each and every one of you. We recognize what you have accomplished, and today is indeed the beginning of something, something very special. As you leave this campus to pursue your dreams, don't forget the experiences you had here. Remember the interactions with fellow students. 
Remember the staff that guided you through the process or helped you with your financial aid and reflect on the campus and the people that you encountered along the way. Think about those that worked to keep you safer off campus this past semester. And of course, never forget the faculty that pushed you, that inspired you, that touched your lives. Don't ever forget how you got here and where you came from. What's your story? What hopes, ideas, and dreams do you have? What hopes, ideas, and dreams do others have for you? Let's take a moment to acknowledge your family members, your mentors, and your friends who lifted you up when you stumbled and supported you along the way. Give them a big round of applause. And in case you had any doubts, let me tell you that getting an education and earning a degree was literally life-changing for me. Like many of you, my journey was not easy, but I'm here today as president of the Board of Trustees for the largest community college district in the nation, ensuring that all who come through our doors are able to obtain an education and improve their lives. Together, we can change the world. One community college student at a time. And today begins with you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hey everybody, it's Governor Gavin Newsom. And first partner, Jennifer Siebel Newsom. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you. This is a remarkable feat. We know it wasn't easy, especially in the past few months, having to adjust to online learning, probably moving out of your dorms. Um, some of you being the first in your families to graduate, yeah. we know that this isn't what you imagined this day would look like and feel like, uh, but you, you're here, you did it. We're so proud of you. And no one can take it away from you. And I know you're filled, a lot of us are filled with a little bit of fear, a little bit of anxiety about this being the new normal. It is not the new normal. We'll get through this, but we have to get through it together. And I love to say, because it's true, no one stands taller than when he or she bends down on one knee to help lift other people up. I think if there's anything in life you can do is see the world from a different set of eyes, not just your own. Be a little more empathetic, a little bit more compassionate. And if you are, uh, together we'll get through this much sooner than you think. So take care of yourselves, be proud of yourselves. We cannot wait to see what you do for California in the days to come. Congratulations. Congrats to the class of 2020. Family and friends, parents and loved ones, Chancellor Rodriguez, Board President Hoffman and trustees, college presidents, and most importantly, LACCD Class of 2020. Congratulations. I know how much you've sacrificed to get here, how hard you've worked, and how much this day means to you and your families. So today is a celebration of you. We couldn't be more proud of you, your tenacity, your resilience, everything that you've achieved. And this is your moment. Nothing can take away from that. I know this is not how any of us imagined it would look. You expected to be cheering on your friends and classmates as they walked across the stage. You expected a cap and gown and parties and pictures. And you expected to be stepping into a much brighter world, a more certain future. But instead, you've turned in caps and gowns for masks and gloves. And you're stepping into a moment of fear and uncertainty unlike anything in our lifetimes. Let's be honest, this is not what you signed up for. Each of you came to community college to learn and explore, to prepare you for what you'd accomplish someday. Maybe you came back to college after working in the trades to become an engineer so that someday you'd be ready to solve an important problem and build it. Maybe you came to campus to become an artist so that someday you'd be ready to inspire and to help the world find meaning in chaos. Or maybe you came here to start a journey in science and nursing and medicine so that you could save someone's life or find the cure to a disease someday. But now in the fog of this pandemic, that day may be harder for you to see. You're not the first generation to prepare for one reality and confront another one altogether. But now it's your generation facing up to a moment of extraordinary uncertainty. And it's your turn to decide not only how you will lead the response today, but how we will build a stronger world tomorrow. We like to think that people are supposed to learn from the best of times, but history is actually written by what we've done in the worst of times. Not the moments we hoped for, but those we never asked for and how we stepped up. Not the blissful days, but the hardest moments of our lives and the ways we get through them. Moments like this define you and define us. This is what one of the greatest Angelinos, Vince Scully, called the life of the world. The reality that your days will not all be black and white and high or low, 
but you'll have moments where you have to live in the gray areas and navigate the space between borders. Those are the times when your training, your growing, your studying and preparation are put to the test. This is your defining moment for you and your generation, for all of us. But it's your responsibility to define it, to move through it and to move forward, to emerge from this time with a resilience that carries you forward to the next steps of your education and career, a power that will not only change you, but help us transform our city and country and our world. In your time at Community College, your classes and professors gave you the tools to see what's broken around you, and your experiences gave you the strength to fix it. And now, your completion of Community College is a brand new invitation to not only help lead us through the COVID-19 crisis, but to heal other festering wounds this virus has laid bare. The health crisis of homelessness, the global emergency of a planet on fire, the moral decay of an economy that leaves too many people behind. And while we don't know what the months ahead will bring, we do know that this is the someday that each of you has been preparing for. That is now. You are prepared to serve, prepared to serve with words of wisdom, with art and advocacy, prepared to let this crisis transform you and transform each of our lives. And I know that you will do that. You have it in you because you've already done it. You've taken long trips from home to class, from school to work. You've supported families and children. You've taken the unlikely journey from the dream of completion to making it a reality. And for some of you, college seemed impossible because of money, because you'd be the first, and that can be scary, because classes could take you away from working or helping your family, but you persevered. This semester was unprecedented, but you and your professors and the entire LACCD family rose to the occasion, making the changes necessary to bring you to this bright day. And of course, as you continue down your path, there will be new challenges. But if you're worried about how you're going to follow through on your plans to transfer, we're here to help. Go to coronavirus.lacity.org slash college connect to get in touch with counselors about your next phase. And if you plan to use your certificate or your AA, but worry your industry won't be adding jobs, our work source centers are here for you as a city, as a community, and as your mayor. I need you to know that no matter what this crisis brings, your dreams don't end with your completion of community college. This is only the beginning. We need you to help us respond and to recover from COVID-19 and then to rebuild our city and reimagine its future. Because once you get through this, you will see that the times of loss and struggle give meaning to everything else in life that comes next. And you will learn that you have the tools, the talent, the resilience to overcome difficult days and to create something better, fuller, and more joyous. LACCD Class of 2020, we need each other more than ever. We need your drive and determination. We need your heart and your hope, and we need it right now. So on behalf of the four million angels in this city of angels, we congratulate you. We can't wait to fly alongside you. Great job, a job well done. Here's to you on this special day and to great days ahead. Congratulations to the LA Community College District Class of 2020. We wish we could all be with you together today to celebrate this incredible milestone in your young lives. Now I remember being on campus with some of you back in November and feeling the energy that drives our community colleges. Uh, they're America's secret weapon, as Joe would say, in the education system. As a community college teacher myself, I know how hard you work and how much you do to get your degree. And I'll tell you what I tell my students, if you can make it through this, you can make it through anything. Now we have a real opportunity to come out of this crisis stronger than we've ever been. And you're gonna be a big part of that. So congratulations again to all of the LA Community College District graduates and to all of your families. I can't wait to see everything you're gonna achieve. We need you, we wish you the best of luck. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get loud for our class of 2020. Thank you for joining us. And we welcome all of you to this very special halftime show during our virtual recognition ceremony. 
Our halftime gives us a chance to honor our students through musical performances to the class of 2020. This halftime show is for you.
Welcome everyone to the 2020 virtual commencement of East Los Angeles College. Special hello to the graduates of ELAC. ELAC is a beautiful campus, and I'm sure you saw that in the drone video that was recorded. Beauty of the campus is important, but it's secondary to what really matters, and that is what happens between the walls of the classrooms on this campus, what happens in the informal and everyday interactions that occur between students and others in this campus, and what happens when students find the proper direction and apply the appropriate discipline to take advantage of the many learning opportunities that are readily available here at ELAC. Education is a game changer, as Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor wrote, and I quote, education has a more important value than money. It is deeply important to our growth as a people and as a community. I'm often asked if I ever imagined as a child being on the Supreme Court, highest court in the United States. No, I say, when I was a child, my family was poor. No lawyer or judges lived in my neighborhood, knew nothing about the Supreme Court. You cannot dream of becoming something you do not know about. You have to learn to dream big. Education exposes you to what the world has to offer, to the possibilities open to you. ELAC has given you, the graduates, a snapshot of what the world has to offer. There's so many exciting possibilities open to you. Whether you realize it or not, all of you who are graduating today have made a remarkable transformation in your time here at ELAC. What you have accomplished at this college matters, and hopefully those lessons you have learned will guide you for the rest of your lives. I know you all have dreams, so don't be afraid to dream big. The sky's the limit. One thing that often happens at commencement ceremonies, there's a tradition that has developed over the years and that speakers at commencement ceremonies feel obligated to give advice to the graduating students. Every commencement ceremony is chock full of advice for the graduating students. The truth be told, I doubt if the graduates ever remember that advice, let alone follow it. So you'll be relieved to know that I'm not going to give you advice today. Instead, I want to leave you with a couple of inspirational quotes that I happen to like and that inspire me from people who are much smarter than me. I hope that they will inspire you as well. Sir, Vin Norman, Sir Norman Vincent Peale said, if you want things to be different, perhaps the answer is to become different yourself. When asked by a reporter how it felt to fail 2,000 times before finally inventing the light bulb, Thomas Edison said, I never failed once. It just happened to be a 2,000 step process. Elaine St. James said, there's a self-expansive aspect of gratitude, very possibly 
It is a little known law of nature. The more gratitude you have, the more you have to be grateful for. Finally, John Wesley said, catch on fire with enthusiasm and people will come from miles to watch you burn. Class of 2020, here's the great hope and the well wish I have for you. May you learn to be different. May you be persistent enough and optimistic enough to never fail once. May you always have an abundance of gratitude. May you create a bonfire of enthusiasm that burns ever brighter, striking awe into everyone who comes to watch you burn. Congratulations, grab class of 2020. You did it. Now go out and show the world what you've got. Congratulations on your accomplishment, graduates. Your degree proves that you are now a college graduate. On behalf of the faculty at East Los Angeles College, I welcome you into the Academy. As faculty, we have developed curriculum and crafted instruction to provide you with a robust academic foundation in the form of your program of study and your general education. You chose a program of study that has provided you with a level of expertise necessary to continue on a specific pathway moving forward. Whether that path involves starting a career now or involves transferring to another college or university on your way to a career at some point in the future. The primary purpose of your general education is to help you, our students, become lifelong learners who can think critically, analyze issues, and make reasoned judgments in the spirit of open-mindedness and personal growth. Indeed, through your GE, we have sought to fill you with a sense of self-awareness and self-confidence so you can have the opportunity to pursue your full potential and to understand that you can contribute to your surroundings and society in general and to do so by appreciating and valuing multiple perspectives and backgrounds so that you can participate successfully in our increasingly diverse world. Along the way, your graduating class has encountered countless adversities. Ordinarily, those challenges are immense for any group of students. Whether it's a tough class that keeps you up at night, juggling family and work responsibilities, struggling to have enough to eat or somewhere stable to, to live, or all of the above and more. But this semester, you have also had to navigate a global pandemic. Yet, through it all, you have succeeded. Now, as a graduate, you are entering a community of higher learners to help your society overcome the current crisis and rebuild. You have the critical skills to challenge prevailing myths and the expertise to advance understanding and practices that are well-informed. With your intellectual capacity, you can inspire others to prevail as well. So yes, welcome class of 2020. Join us, your faculty, as we progress to a more enlightened future that can tackle any challenge that may come your way. To the graduating class of 2020, greetings, my fellow Huskies. I have been given the honor of delivering this welcoming address. So, welcome. As we come to the end of this academic year, I would like to talk about something that we all have in common, the number zero. Now, I know what some of you might think right away. What the hell is this guy talking about? Well, stick with me and I promise that it will all make sense in the end. Before we start to celebrate the cumulative ending of our individual journeys, let's remember where it all began. Like a book, all of our stories begin on page zero. Whether we came to East LA College straight out of high school, uh, took a few gap years, returned to get an education after working for a bit, or however else, the decision to come to East LA College is something that we all have in common. This is page zero. From here, everyone's story moves at a different pace. Some of us finished all of our classes and petitioned to graduate by page 50. 
Others took a little bit more time to explore their opportunities and petitioned to graduate by page 100. Well, however you look at it though, the story does begin the same. And now we will all share the same finale. I am proud to have served as your Associate Student Union President during this final chapter of your East LA College story. I could not have asked for a better, more sophisticated and well-spoken graduating class. With that being said, welcome to the ending of a story that has been in the making since you came here. Congratulations, graduating class of 2020. Hi, my name is Yesenia Gonzalez. I am a psychology major and historian of the Pathway to Law School Transfer Program. I am your 2020 commencement speaker. What does it mean to be resilient? Resilience is the way of life. It is the skill of viewing life's hardships as opportunities. For every time that we fall, we get back up again. We have all had our fair shares of sleepless nights and tears shed to make this achievement a reality. Cup noodles became our dinner because we didn't have time for a decent meal. Some of us had to work one, two, maybe even three jobs. We were always racing against the clock due to deadlines we had to meet. Just three months ago, we were living a fast paced lifestyle, but all that came to a sudden halt when campus closed and classes were moved online. The world's attention became focused on the COVID-19. A few weeks passed, classes resumed, and you could feel the weight lifted and a sense of relief. We are in this together. ELAC stands strong even in the toughest of times. Obama once posed the question, if you had to choose one moment in history in which you could be born and you didn't know ahead of time who you were going to be, what nationality, what gender, what race, whether you'd be poor or rich, gay or straight, what faith you'd be born into. You wouldn't choose 100 years ago. You wouldn't choose the 50s or 60s or even the 70s. You would choose right now. Fellow classmates, I want you to know that this current moment is history in the making. We are the first class in the history of ELAC to have a virtual commencement. It may not seem all that exciting, but if you think about it, this is a first. Brown versus Board of Education was a first. It paved the way for all of us to be where we are today. We are full of first generation students, dreamers, single parents, part-time students, those who took a break, and independent students. You are here today because of your resilience and nobody can ever take that from you. We may not be sitting in an open field right now with our loved ones in the stands cheering us on, but what we are doing is making an impact. Despite life's adversities, we continue pursuing our education and our dreams. Those before us fought for our rights for fair education, so we must move forward. We wouldn't be where we are today if everyone just gave up when life became challenging or unpredictable. Starting today, we continue on to the next chapter and what comes next is up to us. This is to the class of 2020 for not giving up. President Rodriguez, I present to you the class of 2020. These students have satisfactorily completed their studies prescribed by the faculty and administration of East Los Angeles College and are now eligible to receive the degree for which they have qualified. Congratulations, class of 2020. Candidates for graduation from East Los Angeles College and recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the Los Angeles Community College District, I confer upon you the associate degree. 
Hello, ELAX graduating class of 2020. Congratulations, you did it. Now, it is my honor to read the names of the graduating students, letters A through L. Thank you. Blanca Abarca. Diana Acevedo. Kiara Adame. Karima Adame. Ana Paula Javier Aduna. Christopher Aguayo. Olga Aguilar. Sergio Aguilar. Desiree Aguilera. Guadalupe H. Ernest Alas. R.P. Alaverdian. Kimberly Alcantar. Araceli Alcantara. Erica Almodovar. Denise Alvarado. Karen Alvarez. Najin Alvarez. Anaí Amayo Rivera. Alicia Andrade. Cesar Andrade. Kenia Andrade. Selena Aragón Castro. Adriana Araujo. Gerardo Araujo. Cynthia Arellano. Kendra Arellano. Adriana Argueta. Cicel Armas Aldana. Cynthia Armenta. Jaime Armenta. Desiree Arancine Garcia. Natalie Arnott. Azucena Arredondo. Victoria Arredondo Arenas. Susana Arroyo. Diane Artea. Joanna Arzate Santana. Cam Au. Lydia Avalos. Andrea Aviles. Daniela Aviles. Brenda Ayala. Darlene Ayala. Kristen Ayala. Monique Ayala. Ana Baca. María Barajas. Manuel Bárcenas. Mary Bed Barrera. Stefania Barreras. Gloria Bautista. 
María de los Ángeles Benítez, Alexis Bermúdez, Rose Bermúdez, Vanessa Blanco, Joana Bonilla, Catherine Tiffany Bouchon, Itzel Buenrostro, Nancy Buenrostro, Angelica Bunn, Cameron Cabigas, Caitlin Cabrera, Giovanna Cadena, Marlene Cajigal, Andrea Caldera, Crystal Calisto, Jocelyn Campos, Leslie Campos, Susan Kanawati, Christina Carranza, Lisette Carrasco, Brandon Carrasco Muñoz, Jasmine Carrillo, Jasmine Casares. Alejandro Caselis, Viridiana Castellanos Roque, Patricia Castillo, Kimberly Castillo Sotelo, Cassandra Castillo Tapia, Andre Castro. Crystal Casares, Fátima Sea, Monique Sendejas, Michelle Cerda, Ángel Cereceres, Carlos Cerritos, Alex Edward Cervantes, Liliana Chavarín, Amber Chavez, Simmei Chia, Eric Chu. Lorena Cibrián, Margarita Cisneros, Cristina Clavel, Lauren Kohlberg, Alejandro Collazo, Jocelyn Contreras, Marisol Contreras, Naomi Contreras, María Córdoba, Jacqueline Corona, Rosalía Corona. Eden Correa, Delia Cortés, 
Eric Cortez. Andrew Cortez. Maria Cortez. Janay Covarrubias. Jasmine Covarrubias. Frank Nuncio Crescenzo. Christian Cruz. Eduardo Cruz. Francisco Cruz. Frankie Cruz. Hortensia Cruz. Anarai Cruz Lugo. Cynthia Curiel Raigosa. Jasmine de la Cruz. Kareli de la Cruz. Angela de la Cruz Nava. Stephanie de la Fuente. Alexis de la Rosa. Joyce de la Torre. Jacqueline de la Torre. Melanie de la Torre. Natalie de Gante. Mia del Real. Itzel Delgadillo. Daisy Delgado. Wendy Delgado. Edward Michael Diaz. Michael Dominguez. Maricela Doval. Melissa Duarte. Cynthia Dueñas. Gisela Durán. Juan Durán. Fabiola Durán Larios. Ariel Echuari. Gabriel Enríquez. Salvador R. Rives. Flor Escalona. Tencha Espino. Dalmar Espinosa Pérez. Yvette Esquivel Ramírez. Ángel Estrada. Ángel Fajardo. Tatiana Farfán. Jessica Félix. Stacy Fernández. Silvia Ferrara. Mariela Field. Kelly Figueroa. Sabrina Fisher. Andreina Flores. Carlos Flores Cruz. María Frausto. Amber Frescas. Graciela Frías. Esmeralda Fuerte. Nicole Funes. Anaí Galicia Blanco. Penélope Galindo. 
Manuel Gallegos, Grace Galván, Myra Gámez, Alondra García, Alondra García, Damaris García, Denise García, Elizabeth García, Guadalupe García, Eurasia García, Margarita García. María García Melina García Melinda García Ana García Preciado Hector Garnica Victoria Gide Itzel Gidwankni Christina Gilbert Wendy Gipp Anika Giron Wendy Giron Gloria Gómez Inés Gómez Maritza Gómez Jonathan González Alicia González Elizabeth González Frances González Javier González Carla González Laura González Lorena González Luis González Nadia González Rachel González Savannah González Sochilt González Yesenia González Marco Gopar Foshwana Grace Lorraine Granados Catherine Granados Vargas Crystal Guadarrama Wei Kang Juan Ilse Guerra Jennifer Guerra Mayra Guerra Araceli Guerrero Iván Guerrero Rocío Guerrero Rudy Guerrero Jennifer Guidos Veronica Guillén
Charval Gutierrez, Heriberto Gutierrez, Kimberly Gutierrez, Michael Gutierrez. Maria Gutierrez Mirna Gutierrez Bianca Guzman Stephanie Guzman Brian Ha Morgan Ha Christina Hacker Jessica Heredia Samantha Heredia Anna Hernandez Carmen Hernandez Claudia Hernandez Darlene Hernandez Gabriela Hernandez Maria Hernandez Oscar Hernandez Rocio Hernandez Elizabeth Hernandez Guzman Nayeli Perez Jacqueline Herrador Karen Herman Shirley Ho Anne Huang Denise Olguin Shuhei Hu Dang Hua Rongyuan Huang Tse Ting Huang Yvette Hurtado Verónica Ibáñez Mayra Ibarra Vanessa Natalie Ibarra Tribeca Ing Francisco Insunza Cristina Nicole James Jose Jaramillo Christy Hauregui Xianhui Jiang Yu Hang Jiang Elaine Jim Elizabeth Jimenez Maricruz Jiménez Maricela Jiménez Rodolfo Jiménez Yanira Jiménez Agustín Juárez Jovel Jurado Alice Kaladijian Shang Wong Kang and Tranika Karijan Kronshana Kio 
Hang Kong Sheena Kim He Wen Kong Laura Chris Tofi Joseph Kunkel Fog La Saida Landeros Nancy Lara Shun Lau Kimberly Leal Michelle Ledesma Tatiana Leva Mariah Lewis Alondra Leva Garcia Tong Lee Yu Shao Lee Jackie Liang Caress Lima Lucy Limas Ting Yu Lin Xiao Jing Lin Kiao Lin Tianyi Liu Delpha Lisama Brittany Lisaola Brenda Lisaola Roxanne Llamas Edith Llanos Denise Longmire Alex Lopez Alondra Stephanie Lopez Andrea Lopez Ida Lopez Brianna Lopez Elizabeth Lopez Fernando Lopez Francis Lopez Jorge Lopez Sebastian Lopez Diana Lopez Serratos Paola Lopez Carrillo Brianna Lozano Priscilla Luján Yulori Luna Jennifer Luna Linda Luna Fu Lu Yeet Luin Hi, I'm Dr. J. Edward Stevenson, Professor of Communication Studies at East Los Angeles College 
and congratulations to the graduates of 2020. Special congratulations to the communication studies majors who are celebrating your graduation today. I am thrilled to be participating as one of the name readers. Congratulations and go far. Ruhan Ma. Justin Madera. Cindy Maganya. Jennifer Maldonado. Zairis Mancera. Teresa Martin. Brianna Martinez. Erica Martinez. Juliet Martinez. Stephanie Martinez. Cora Martinez Duran. Diana Martinez Saldana. Lucia Mata. Estefany Matilde Morales. Nian May. Veronica Maya. Almond McKinley. Arcelica Medina. Cruz Medina. Yvette Medina. Maria Mejia. Leslie Membreno. Rachel Mimi. Jasmine Mena. Anna Mendez. Bet Zaida. Favi Mendez. Mireya Mendez. Nancy Mendez. Celine Mendoza. Jadine Mendoza. Nora Mendoza. Rebecca Mendoza. Wendy Mendoza. Jenny Mendoza Sucalon. Karina Morales Vega. Christine Mercado. Jordan Mines. Jennifer Miranda. Rayuno Suke Miyamoto. Marilyn Molina. Patricia Molina. Ive Mondragon. Lisa Mondragon. Goretti Monsalvo. Carlos Montes. Juan Montes. Yesenia. Montial Biasana, Maria Monzon, Crystal Morales, Ernest Morales, Ramon Morales, Rufo Morales. Veronica Morales, 
Procio, Morales Moreno, Jaime Morales Sanchez, Stephanie Moran, Maria Moreno, Vanessa Moreno, Santiago Mungia, Christy Muro, Bethany Helena Naranjo, Ashley Navarez, Crystal Navarro, Daisy Navarro, Mauricio Navarro, Stephanie Navarro, Alia Nigrete, Danny Ng, Duong Go, Truk Win, Trong Win, Vu Win, Fong Win, Elizabeth Nieto, Marilyn Nieto. Maria del Sol Nieves, Chinali Nolasing, Yailene Noriega, Jasmine Nunez, Joanna Nunez, Priscilla Nunez. Laura Ochoa, Andrea Olivares, Lorena Olivas, Tiffany Ong, Zaira Odonez Fernandez. Anna Orozco, Christy Ortega, Jose Ortega, Noe Ortega, Pauline Ortega, Alejandra Ortiz. Esmeralda Ortiz, Jessica Ortiz, Josefina Ortiz, Maria Ortiz, Geraldine Oswell, Janet Oviedo. Jennifer Pacheco, Jessica Lorraine Padilla, Jesus Palafox, Taylor Palomares, Lauren Parks, Kimberly Pat. Mirna Pesina, Victoria Penalosa Estrada, Robert Benate, Eric Peralta, Brian Abel Perdomo. Pablo Perez Meza, Amanda 
Perez. Arid Anna Perez. Christian Perez. Cynthia Perez. Della Perez. Elias Perez. Corina Perez. Kristen Perez. Monique Marie Perez. Jennifer Perez Luna. John Peterson. Yuen Pham. Yin Pham. Hai Tuan Pham. Huong Fung. Nancy Picao. Maria Pineda Oreana. Adriana Placencia. Maria del Sol Ponce Reyes. Natalia Portillo. Jackie Lou Puella. Jackie Puga. Claire Payo. Jose Quinones. Stephanie Quintana. Erika Ramirez. Eva Ramirez. Gabriela Ramirez. Jessica Ramirez. Joanna Ramirez. Jocelyn Ramirez. Karen Ramirez. Lizeth Ramirez. Sharon Ramirez. Yanni Ramirez Alondra Ramirez de la Cruz Christian Ramon Elizabeth Ramos Patricia Ramos Vanessa Ramos Araceli Rangel Jocelyn Rangel Valle Vanessa Rayo Brenda Reya Wendy Reya Desiree Renteria Jasmine Renteria Vanessa Renteria Marisol Reveles Trujillo Andrew Reyes Eva Reyes Michelle Reyes Jessica Reyes Cervantes Miriam Rico
Erica Rios, Mariana Rios Irpan, Diana Rivas, Gloria Rivas, Elsa Rivera, Jocelyn Rivera, Mariana Rivera, Victoria Inez Rivera, Kimberly Rivera Fuentes, Viridiana Robles, Destiny Robles, Lizette Robles, Erika Rosiles, Anthony Rodriguez, Casey Rodriguez, Katerin Rodriguez, Diana Rodriguez, Esteban Rodriguez, James Rodriguez, Joanna Rodriguez, Jorge Rodriguez, Jorge Rodriguez, Luigi Rodriguez, Mickey Rodriguez, Oliva Rodriguez, Perla Rodriguez, Priscilla Rodriguez, Robert Rodriguez, Roxana Rodriguez, Vanessa Rodriguez, Tanya Rodriguez Alfaro, Karime Rodriguez Ayala, Daniel Rojas Contreras, Crystal Rolón, Barbara Romero Flores, Christian Romero, Daniel Romero, Ana Rosa Chavez Orellana, Fabiola Rosales, Angelica Rosas, Gabriela Rosas, Daniela Rosas Bernal, Claudia Rosso, Alyssa Rubal, Claudia Rubio, Daniel Ruiz, Fanny Ruiz, Maribel Ruiz, Marta Maria Ruiz, Jessica Salazar, Michael Salazar, Natalie Nicole Salazar, Carla Salcedo, Eros Saldaña, Blanca Salgado, Jennifer Salguero Tejeda, Giselle Galina 
Salmano, Adela Sanchez, Alexander Sanchez, Armando Sanchez, Daisy Sanchez, Erika Sanchez, Judith Sanchez, Rocio Sanchez, Vanessa Sanchez, Brenda Sanchez Martinez, Carolina Sandoval, Christian Sandoval, Daisy Sandoval, Nandy Santana, Alfredo Santiago, Julie Santiago, Angelina Santos, Melissa Santos, Matthew Saracho, Emma Scott Gonzalez, Evelyn Segura, Blanca Serrano, Hazel Servin, Tanya Shamas, Mark Shinauda, Emily Silva, Kevin Siu. Alicia Sores McLean, Cecia Solazano, Kelvin Sosa, Alex Sotelo, Jane Soto, Kimberly Soto Guillen. Yan Su Yuao Su Heba Sultan Anthony Sutanto Takuya Tumura Maya Tejera Cecilia Tenorio Ashley Tinajero Raquel Tinoco Sergio Tirado Nunez Yimen To Anna Toca Jinjira Tonkard Adam Torres Ryan Torres Lauren Torres Paola Torres Shannon Torres Yolanda Torres Katie Tran Lee Tran Ni Tran 
you tran. Hot tran. Rosemary Trujiki. Daniela Valdez. Perla Valencia. Daniel Valentine. Doris Valle. Jennifer Vallejo. Thomas Van. Heather Barella. Nicole Vargas. Rosalba Vargas. Jenny Vargas. Yvette Vargas. Diane Vasquez. Esteban Vasquez. Cassandra Vasquez. Veronica Vasquez. Floribetti Vasquez. Jesus Vega Vargas. Janet Velasco. Javier Velasquez. Patrocinia Patty Vinegas. Ienzi Benoza. Consuelo Vicencio. Daniel Vidardi. Miriam Piapondo. Constance Bielbalzo. Cindy Villanueva. Ruby Villarreal. Damien Piegas. Tram Vo. Lan Vong. Ran Wong. Shunan Wong. Maria Zivir. Dongyi Yang. Glory Ye. Lan Yu. Corina Marilyn Yuman. Kai Yotong. Antonio Zamora. Adrian Zamudio. Brandy Jasmine Zaragoza. Leticia Zarate. Ruby Zazuzeta. Deborah Silaya. Christine Zamharian. Shai Jong. Hime Xiao. Lily Zhang. Yi Yong Zhang. Jiayin Zhao. Jun Zhu. 
Mark Zuniga Viviana Zuniga I want to thank everyone who joined us today at the 2020 ELAC Virtual Commencement Ceremony. Uh, on behalf of the administrators, faculty, staff, I want to congratulate the class of 2020, our graduates. I wish you safety and success in everything you do. This concludes our ceremony. Thank you.